Hey, welcome back to the channel. This video is for anyone in marketing or RevOps who feel like they work all the time, but for some reason, they're always behind on things to do. There's a never ending to-do list because you're spending way too much time doing this random grunt work task versus more strategic tasks you should actually be doing. In this video, we'll go over simple workflow, how you can manage your leads so you can spend more time planning and executing your marketing campaigns versus all the manual tasks which should be automated. My only hope is that after watching this video, you feel inspired on all the tasks that you could automate and empowered that how easy it is to automate these tasks using Zapier. Yes! Hell yeah! All right, so let's get into it. So essentially what's happening is every time you have a new lead in Google Ad campaign, through the Zapier automation, it's automatically added to Google Sheet. So that's our simple but super useful automation. So here's how you do it. So if you're in Zapier and you create a new Zap, we're gonna have a trigger and then our action. So trigger in this case is gonna be Google Ads. But you know, this is just an example. Maybe you have LinkedIn ad campaign running, maybe you have a meta ad campaign running you can have any campaign that you're running as your trigger. So before you set up your trigger, just make sure your campaign is already set up in Google Ads. So that way we can pull all the relevant information from the campaign. By the way, if you don't wanna follow the steps, just use the pre-built automation to have the trigger and action connected. And now all you have to do is just connect your accounts and let the automation run. All right, so assuming you're not using the template or even if you are, you'll still have to know how to connect these things. So we're just gonna go through this quickly here. So once you have your trigger selected, which is a Google Ads campaign, we have to select a trigger event. In this case, that's gonna be new lead from entry. So we're just letting the automation know that for our app, Google Ads, every time there's a new trigger, which is a new lead form entry, uh, we're gonna run this automation. And now we have to connect our account. So here you have to basically authorize your Google Ads account with your email that you're using for that Google Ads account. So you just have to authorize that account so you can connect it within this automation workflow. So once you have your accounts connected, we're gonna hit continue. And now we're gonna connect our Google Ad campaign. So first we're gonna pick our Google Ads ID from the use Google Ad dropdown and the same for our managed account. And now we're gonna pick the form that we're using for the campaign. So here, for example, we have automation developer sessions and that's our form that's running within Google Ads for this campaign. As you can see, these automations are simple drag and drop. It's not complicated even for non-technical people. So once we have this, we're just gonna test our trigger just to make sure that uh, everything is running smoothly, everything is connected properly, so we don't have any errors in our automation. That's pretty much it, our trigger is set now. Our next step is gonna be selecting our action. So in this case, our action is gonna be selecting Google Sheets. This could be anything you want. It could even be a Slack message if that's what you wanna send to your team. So here we have our Google Sheets and we're gonna do exact same process. First, we're gonna select our action event, which is gonna be create spreadsheet draw. We are here assuming that uh, we have our spreadsheet. That's where we're gonna populate all our data. It has all the columns, pre defined. So our action here is create spreadsheet row, and then we're gonna connect the account uh, where we have that spreadsheet already created. It doesn't have to have any data, it just needs to have this column name so we can map out the data. So our next step under configuration, we're gonna select a Google Drive. For most people, it's just like my Google Drive, but maybe you have different drives within Google Drive, so select the appropriate one, select the right spreadsheet, and then select the sheet within the spreadsheet. Again, unless you have a different naming convention, it's likely going to be sheet one. But if you have a different naming convention, it's gonna have a drop down. So you just pick the one that you wanna add data to. And now is the fun part and pretty much the final step. For the sheet, we just have to map fields one to one. So if you do forward slash and you go to the drop down from our first step, which is new lead form entry in Google Ads, we're gonna see all the data we're receiving from our first step from our Google Ads campaign that we can add to our spreadsheet based on our goals. For this example, we're gonna keep it simple, just name an email. But you can see here, you have a bunch of different options. You have name, full name, campaign name, ad group name, GCI ID, lead submission date, creative name. So, you know, depending on how comprehensive you want your dashboard within spreadsheets to be, you can pick all these fields as long as you have those columns within your spreadsheet. In our spreadsheet here, we only had columns like name and email. Those are the variables we're seeing within our automation setup. And all we have to do is just like go forward slash and pick the variable we want to like map from one to one. You know, for our name, we're just going to pick your full name. For our email, we're going to pick email. So that way, every time the automation is is running, this app would know that for this particular column, for new row, this is the field we need to add. I mean, this is super straightforward for anyone who's ever built automations before, but if you're very new, I hope this makes sense now and just leave a question in the comments if there's something you need help with. All right, once we have our fields mapped, all we gotta do is continue and just test the stuff again, just to make sure everything is running. So now we're gonna take our test data from our first step and now we're gonna pass it on and we can go back to Google Sheets just to see how it's working. Here we see our data being propagated from our Google Ads account to our spreadsheet automatically. Once you're done, all you gotta do is give it a name to your Zapier, Google Ads Leads, uh, whatever you wanna call it. And all we gotta do is like hit publish and hit publish. 
and we're good to go. So now every time you have a new lead coming in through your Google Ads campaign, it's gonna be almost instantly get reflected in your Google Sheets. But maybe you wanna take it a step further. You can add multiple steps. Maybe your next step is to add Slack. For every time we get a new lead, we can send a Slack message to the team. This of course works more for like B2B if you have like lower volume but high ticket leads. But if you're more like consumer and you have a whole bunch of leads coming in, it's probably gonna overwhelm your Slack. So again, I just wanna share like how you can start thinking about different workflows and just connecting multiple apps to talk to each other by simple drag and drop through the Zapier Builder interface. So just to recap, we built a very simple automation to take some of the grunt work from anyone in marketing or RevOps, where for any ad campaign, we're taking the lead data and automatically adding to a spreadsheet. Very simple two-step automation. As always, if this video was useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Zapier channel to be inspired with more workflow ideas and tutorials on how to build these AI automations. We'll see you in the next one.